So today we're going to be replacing the electrical switch to our inverter. So the first thing I had to do was I went back and I disconnected the shore power and we're going to check that here in a second too. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is disconnect the 12 volt power supply. I have these handy little switches here and I'll verify those as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom plate off here. I gain access to the electrical wiring. Once I have that off, I'm going to switch my, my multimeter here to voltage AC to do a check. And the hot leg is supposed to be this side on the right. So I'm gonna try doing this that you can see the voltmeter there. Uh, I see. It says two, three. What's it read there, Joel? I think it's point, is it point two? Okay, so that's, that means that I did get all the power off and that's what we wanted yeah. to verify. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the switch. And um, as we get through and start doing some of that, you know, we'll come back and do some other little video clips because it's pretty tight in there and we just can't fit the camera and me trying to get the work done. So anyways, we'll be back and do some more of the install. So what you'll see here is we have the old power supply taken out now. This is the one that we think was bad or not the power supply, but the switch. Um, to put the new switch on, the runs that they put on there for the electrical cabling are probably about that long. And it was really hard to try and maneuver it up in that space. So what I did was I disconnected the work box and another little wiring harness to give myself some more space to work with this. So now what we're gonna do is tighten up the hot in and then the 120 volt uh, hot out. And then we'll go ahead and mount everything back up and take a few more photos. So now, as you'll see, I have the box all wired back up and it is really hard to get those in there because you got to have all six wires lined up at the same time just because the runs are so short um, to make sure that they're all the way inside the fitting. Uh, so anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and attach the electrical work box, which is the silver piece down there, stuff all those wires back in, I'll get the transfer switch screwed back down as well. We'll go ahead and plug it into the inverter and then we'll come back and do our ops checks, make sure everything worked well. Well, I finally got, I think, all of the lines tightened back up and the transfer switch is loosely installed and the access cover is open. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna, I mean, I had everything plugged in back to the inverter again. That's where the power comes from. So I'm gonna turn the batteries on here and then I'm gonna reach in and turn my inverter on, which that's the beeping sound that you heard. So now, if I did this right, I should have on the AC output load side, I should be able to get 120 volts on the meter. So I'm gonna reach in and give it a shot and Julie can try and keep an eye on the meter here and tell me what I see once I get these in here. Anything? Nothing. That one says one, oh well that one, yeah that one's all over the place, 119.4. Okay. So what had happened was, as I was doing whatever, I tripped the, um. I tripped the ground or the um, okay, the GFI outlet on the bottom of the inverter. So I had to put that back in, but that's what we wanted to see. So we now have power to the refrigerator operating off of the batteries. So the power comes from the batteries, goes through the switches, hits the inverter, the inverter switch runs it to the, to the line. See, and that's the inverter.
which isn't a good sign because that may mean that our inverter is not working the way it is. It should be. So I'm gonna run that again and see if I can't get the error code to come back up. So that's kind of not the answer we were hoping for. We were thinking that it was the Magnum switch just because the symptoms were the refrigerator went off just unexpectedly on 120 volt. When we flipped it over to 12 volt through the inverter, everything was running fine. Power came back on mysteriously. We didn't do anything. We were moving a slide in, the power went out again. So of course we tried to flip it over to the 12 volt source that didn't work either. So again, I'm getting I have the flashlight. Echo 01 is the error code that I'm getting. So now I got to try to figure that out. 